on guys welcome back to another video today is gonna be more of a little information video uh, I'm just gonna get right into it guys I'm not gonna waste any of y'all's time with any of you know little things that I'm doing whatever right I just hopped in the car discussion video for you guys today so uh, as you guys probably know you know I've done every single bolt on this car the guys that you know are with the channel I know this video is gonna bring some newer guys so just so you guys know this is a 96 Mustang GT two valve obviously uh, MPI bottom in PI heads uh, cams and basically full bolt-ons man long tube headers also and um, You guys can see how she sits right now. I have the drag set up in the back and I know I know I got a lot of haters and the video I posted of me getting the drag set up in the back saying oh you don't need you don't need that for you know whatever power you made I know that uh, I have bigger plans for the car in the future and the car was and I'm not gonna be burning my my street setup man so got the drag set up so I can go drag racing or you know street racing on the whenever I want you know what I mean so that's why I did it so you guys shut up thank you so you guys uh, I'm just gonna show you all this setup this setup currently what I have made the car made 280 rear wheel horsepower and 305 foot-pounds of torque I've seen a lot of cars you know uh, PI top in full bolt on you know long tube headers everything like that and I seen them and a lot of them don't make over 300 foot-pounds of torque and I'm not sure why maybe it's the cam setup that I went with that made that that kind of torque numbers but uh, straight out of the gate it only made I believe it made 270 I'll put the original dyno sheet up and then after my guy tuned it you know made it safe and everything like that it's still running rich I could tell it's running rich because of the pops and stuff like that um, it shoots flames every once in a while so it is running rich I know there's still still some left in it but you know why not have it safe why push it to its limits when what 300 horsepower 20 horsepower difference is not gonna make that big of a difference so I get this question all the time Chris what do you have done to your car what are all the bolt-ons what are this and that and you know it, it, you guys can easily go back and look at every video but who wants to do that let's just see a whole rundown of the car what the car has and why my car made the setup it did so this is the engine guys the infamous 4.6 liter two valve before you guys get all it's a sarcasm bro it's a two valve I get it uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, the two valve gets a lot of shit, guys. It's for a reason. The two valve doesn't really make that much power, and I could admit that. I'm a two valve owner. Um, I put a lot of money into this motor, and it only literally made 280 horsepower, which I knew what I was getting into. I knew what I was getting into. These cars do not make power without boost. And um, let's just get into it, man. Before, when I had a dyno tuned, the car literally only had um, an SR intake. And it was that metal intake, man. As you guys know, that thing heat soaks so bad. So I'm pretty sure that was to drop my power. Um, I literally just got this JLT uh, probably maybe a month ago or a month or two ago. Uh, I didn't make a video on it because you know I just slapped it on, whatever, man. Uh, it was like it was a used piece, so uh, I got that JLT, way bigger than the metal intake. It still soaks up a little bit of heat, but not as bad, not as bad, man. It's just because the long tube headers, man. The long tube headers um, heat soaks this tube valve really, really bad. Um, so let's just start off for the bolt-ons. Uh, as you guys can see, MSD coil packs. I don't, I'm not sure why the MSD coil packs get so much hate. Um, I literally have had no issues whatsoever with these coil packs. So I haven't had one misfire, nothing like that, man. These MSD coil packs have been really good to me. So these are the MSD coil packs right here. Uh, live wire wires. These wires I got from my boy Andreas VT. Sadly, he sold his Cobra and he's on to bigger and better things. He has a 5.0 now, Cali Special. Shout out you, Andrew. Thank you so much for these, man. These really came in clutch. Good friend of mine now, man. Awesome dude. So like I said, PI heads, you can't really see because of valve covers. The valve covers, just so you guys know, I also get this question so many times. Romeo versus Windsor. You guys can easily do a Google search. That's what, exactly what I did. Easily do a Google search on which valve covers work. My, my old valve covers worked on 01 to 04 heads. I'm pretty sure 01 to 04 is the Windsor. I can't really remember off the top of my head, man. But just go ahead and look at that. Our, our valve covers 96 to 98 will work with 01 to 04 heads. Before that, I think it's 99, 99 to 2000 are, is Romeo or Windsor, whatever they're switched. Those are the ones with the uh, cap fill on this side, man. And um, those, are, those heads, you're going to have to use those valve covers, man. So just do a quick Google search on valve covers. That'll help you out. But like I said, 01 GT heads. PI intake. It does have a PI intake, man. My, oh, my old PI intake cracked. I would not recommend getting another PI intake, but due to crush time and stuff like that, man, I just got another PI intake, man. Didn't bother me none. Um, I've seen these intakes hold up to a lot of boosts, so 
It's whatever, man. If it breaks, it's under warranty. Cool, whatever. Throttle body. Throttle body setup is only a 70 millimeter SR performance throttle body. And I got a lot of hate too because I bought cheap stuff. Oh, you get cheap stuff, get cheap results, whatever. The car made 280 horsepower on a 70 millimeter um, throttle body. Okay, and this is a CNL plenum. As you guys can see, it's ghetto spray painted white. That's why the paint's coming off. Um, <laughs> What else, what else? Okay, and the cams of this car. The cams, we are running Comp Cam 262 Stage 1 cams. And I've heard a lot of guys say, it literally does not matter what stage cam you have, the stage doesn't really matter, you know what I mean? I'll put up the, um, the specs of the cams right now so you guys can see exactly what it is. Or you guys can just go look up Comp Cam 262s. That's what this car made. I literally do not care guys if you guys want to literally copy this setup, I'm pretty sure it will give you the same numbers. And just so you guys know, this car is low mileage for a 96, it's a it has 114,000 miles because I was daily in it for a while. I bought the car with 87,000 miles. Um, when it got dyno tuned, it had 114,000 miles, man. So. Uh, still like a fresh motor man. It hasn't really been beat to shit as far as spark plug goes they're, they're stock motorcraft spark plugs uh, Long tube headers are the pace setter headers the pace setters are gonna run you about 300 bucks um, I heat wrapped them. I didn't do too well of a job. I can admit but um, Yeah, man long tube headers and I think that's about it man for the bolt-ons for the motor literally only a cold air intake throttle body plenum uh, I don't even know if you call spark plugs in that you know it just runs efficient with that stuff so Throttle body, colder intake, plenum, uh, PI heads, PI intake, comp cam 262 cams, long tube headers, and as far as the exhaust goes, it does have like a ghetto mid pipe. It's not like a, it's not a branded mid pipe. Um, that's what it has. No cats whatsoever after the long tubes. Long tubes, the X pipe, and then it has SLP resonators, man. The resonators, they're not the mufflers. The resonators are straight through, man. They're just the resonators. So that, uh, all the piping is two and a half inch back. Besides the mufflers, uh, the mufflers are like, I think they're, it's a three inch inlet. And then I just have like these three inch uh, pipes in the back, man. So I'm pretty sure you new guys are gonna wanna hear what it sounds like. I'll give you guys a sound clip right now. You guys heard what the, what the cold start sounded earlier. Um, this is the CompCam 262s, SLP, resonators, X pipe, uh, zero cats, man. You guys know the deal, here you go. As you guys can hear, it, it idles pretty good. This is the first time it's making that noise. It's making like a, I don't know what noises that is. Uh, I don't daily drive this car like I said, so it develops new noises every once in a while. But the car, besides that little noise it's making, it's running good, man, you can tell. It's running great. Maybe it's a pulley or something? I'm not sure. I also forgot to mention, it does have an EGR delete. The only reason I deleted the EGR was because it would have been a pain in the ass to um, get the EGR hooked up back to the headers, because I had the headers put on when the heads were off. So we just went ahead and deleted the EGR. Um, EGR delete, I got this little block off plate from eBay. Freaking, I didn't get stainless bolts, I don't know why, so they're rusting, I'm gonna change those to stainless soon. But that's the setup. Uh, how, how it sounds man now I'm a little concerned on what's that noise <laughs> it sounds like a pulley or something small it's not it's not really nothing too big but uh yeah man if you guys are curious what the interior looks like so this is it man basically stock interior uh, besides the double den and then it's gutted 
it's gutted right now just because you know it's not my daily like I said and you know when I go street racing sometimes it helps when, when you only have 280 horsepower and it helps when your car weighs 3100 pounds so yeah my last video the car weighs 3140 without me in it um, pretty good weight uh, for 280 horsepower 305 foot pounds of torque it's a it's a quick peppy little car man it's not nothing fast it's nothing serious man it's just a two valve like I said but you know if you guys want to go NA route uh, full bolt on stuff like that the car can be pretty quick I'm not gonna lie other than that man uh, if you guys have a new edge two valve this is gonna be this this is just gonna be the same exact things for y'all man I've seen great things for the uh, for the PI uh, PI motors man a friend of mine on Instagram Ronnie if you guys want to check him out, his name is his name used to be Ronnie Two Valve, and then he changed it to Ronnie C6 because he bought an LS3 now, which you know he's making big boy power now. But he used to uh, he had a full bolt on two valve, you know, and it was just weight reduction. He was taking on full bolt on, I mean, not full bolt on, but he was taking on bolt on coyotes and stuff like that, and he was pretty he was hanging pretty well. to mention uh, the rear end gear in the back is uh, a 373 uh, I've already noticed man the top end is not great uh, I wish I would have gone like a 355 or even like a 331 or something like that for you know highway and stuff like that uh, for for if you guys wanted to daily this car a 373 would be perfectly fine man but uh, for highway roll racing and stuff like that a 373 is not uh, what you call like a great gear um, out of the hole, the 373 is very nice though, man. It does change the whole the whole feel of the car. Um, I might be going 355 soon because I have boost on the way, man. All right, and I was just going over the footage right now. I missed it. I missed the spot, which I always do. I'm sorry about that, but this car was dyno tuned on a Mustang Dyno slash Dynocom. If you guys know what a Dynocom is, it kind of reads like a Mustang Dyno. And everyone will have their things on if the Dyno Jet reads true, if the Mustang Dyno reads true. The car dynoed on a Dynocom and it made 280 rear wheel horsepower, 300 foot pounds of torque, and uh, it was SAE, Smoothing 5, everything like that, man. It just, all dynos read different, cars are gonna read different, depends on how hot the day is, how, you know, everything like that. It depends, man, on just on all that stuff, man. So that was just what the car was. It was a very hot day. The car was heat soaked. I'm pretty sure the car makes more power. Like when it's cool, like right now, the car is, it runs, it runs really peppy, man. So back. So yeah, guys, I did say it, and um, my my subscribers know that uh, this car was gonna be getting a hundred shot. I had a whole nitrous kit, guys. You guys know. I just ran into a guy that is selling a supercharger, and I think I'm gonna pursue it. I think I'm gonna be getting it here in the next few days, man. So for you guys that are looking at this video and you guys are thinking like, man, I don't want to spend all that money just for 280 horsepower. I have the perfect solution for you, which I wish I would have done. It would have saved me a lot of money, man. Um, you can literally just throw a 150 shot at your two valve, man. I know guys have done it for this so many times, man. Look up on the forums. People say these two valves take 150 shot all day long, man. I had a friend that was running a bullet, man, and he had 150 shot on his stock bullet, and he was whooping coyotes all day, man. So I wish I would have just done that. If you guys are interested, man, I have a whole, a whole nitrous kit, man. It's literally complete spark plugs, window switch, bottle bottle heater purge kit man uh the whole nine man everything that you need to put nitrous on your car and run nitrous safely man window switch is super super safe um you have everything man except for a tune which i highly recommend a dyno tune please do a dyno tune if you guys are going to run nitrous if you guys are interested man please hit up my instagram it's gonna be right here or if you guys just want to follow me see uh, updates on the car like stuff like that it's gonna be right here man 4.6 chris just as it is on youtube i'm gonna be selling this kit to you guys man for a thousand dollars that is so freaking cheap. The whole kit ran me about like $17.50. And I just know you're never gonna get back what you what you bought, man. And I know I screwed up. But that thousand dollars is gonna help me get this car supercharged and boosted. It's gonna cost a lot more than $1,500, you guys. So 
if you guys want to be fast and you guys want to just run nitrous on your car, which I believe it is super safe on a safe tune, cold plugs, window switch, man, it's going to be super safe for your setup. Please hit me up on Instagram, man. I'd be happy to see one of you guys start laying the smack down on some coyotes because that's all I'm worried about right now. I want to get boosted and I want to start whooping these coyotes ass. So yeah, man, this is the rundown on my little 4.62 valve. These are the bolt-ons that my car had. The car made 280 rear wheel horsepower, 300 foot-pounds of torque. Put up the dyno sheet right now just in case none of you guys believe me. I have the whole dyno video um, on the channel if you guys want to go check that out. But yeah, man, that's going to be it for today. Quick little rundown on what I had done to the car, man. If you guys want to see a little walk around, this is it. Very, very simple setup. SN95, you guys. I literally cannot wait. I'm going to be running. Oh, and just for you guys know, I know I'm probably going to get some people saying, I just automatically assume that you guys did the same research that I did. Before I even had the car, man, I was already looking at bolt-ons and everything like that. When you put the PI heads on the MPI bottom end, you get a little bump in compression, man. The car, people say it's like a 10-1 to a 10-3. It's a pretty good bump in compression. But with that being said, compression loves nitrous. So if you guys are looking for nitrous, that is perfect for you. I wish I would have done that route, but I'm really set on getting this thing supercharged. I want to go blown, man. It's going to be sick. But for me going supercharged, I'm probably going to have to go on a very, very safe conservative tune. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make 400. If I had the regular stuff, you know, I don't think I would have that problem. But uh, high compression and boost doesn't really mix. But I already talked to my tuner. He said that we could get it done. Might have to do, might have to run E85 for timing, but you know, we'll cross that route when we get there. Like I said, if you guys want to do this, or if you guys are just stock, man, 150 shot that two valve, man, it will be freaking worth it. Like I said, man, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please drop a thumbs up. If this is your first time viewing, guys, please hit that subscribe button. We're going to have so much things on the way. Like I just said, man, this thing's going to be boosted. You guys are not going to want to miss that. It's going to be awesome, man. Tons of street racing videos coming up soon everything like that. Please hit that like button. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed your time here, man, it's your boy, 4.6 Chris. We'll see y'all later, man. Peace out. Have a good day.